What's up guys, Jason from Jiu Jitsu 5 all here with my guy Tim, I'm gonna show you a quick side control escape. So let's check okay. it out. So uh, side control escape is probably one of the most common questions I get asked as a Jiu Jitsu instructor uh, are, one, how do I get out of side control? Two, how do I escape a triangle? And my answer usually to both of them is don't get there in the first place, right? But, so uh, there's a, uh, a variation of side control escapes that we can use making sure that he doesn't get head control, right? So traditionally, uh, Jason's gonna wanna have this arm and this trap, and, and really for, for me on the bottom, this is, you're dodging bullets at this point, right? So let's say if I understand that he's starting to pass my guard and he wants that, I'm gonna hide my elbow, and as he goes to get my head, I underhook him, I reach up with a thumb, and I grab his collar. If I can't get my thumb in his collar, I just grab his back, Okay, and I hold tight. So if he's trying to weave in, or he's trying to get that underhook, or even if he's trying to create a little bit of space to get back up, I've got this arm holding him down. The best thing to do now is as he's starting to create that space, right? That's my time to go. So I bring my legs up, I swing him towards uh, my opponent, and I punch. Okay, the second that I get here, I'm gonna use my right hand, I'm gonna go across on his knee, Okay, and then I just reverse the position by uh, knee tapping or double you know. Okay, so look on this way just a little bit. Your 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 guard retention starts as you know he's passing his guard. Like you always know the second that he's going to get to the side, right? So let's say in in a street scenario, like you fell down and this guy's or he tackles you and he's already on top of you, right? As he starts to come, I, I always want the underhook. I don't want this guy to have the underhook at all, okay? My hand on this side can either be on his hip or I can use my forearm as a frame, okay? And as he starts to posture up to get that arm back in, I'm gonna use my legs and my momentum to kick and I punch, okay? So I hold here like this. So if he wants to turn back in, right? That's also giving me an avenue to grab his knee, right? I punch, I reverse the position, okay? And I've established top control from, you know, a seemingly really bad spot being on the bottom. Give you a try. So, wait, the scenario, right? I start to pass this guard, boom. Yeah, yep, right? As I start to raise up, boom. 